तीन डिविशन है कर्म योगा भक्ति योगा ज्ञान योगा कर्म योगा वन टू सिक्स भक्ति योगा सेवन टू ट्वेल्व देन थर्टीन टू एटीन ज्ञान योगा भक्ति इज ऑलवेज वंडरफुल राइट मोर देन ज्ञान सो टुडे वी विल बी कल्मिनेटिंग द भक्ति योगा Krishna beautifully tells, you know, this is what is bhakti. We are not able to do, come to the next level. Not able to do that also, no problem. Come to the next. Like that Krishna is bringing us down, 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 down. But not with the objective of bringing us down. Making it easier for us. So that anybody is able to follow this bhakti. Okay. Now, after getting started, then in the Jnana Yoga, Krishna will take us very fast. Till then, you know, he is showing us the easiest path. The first shloka, Arjuna Vacha Evam. What is happening? My mouse is also troubling on it. <laughs> ये अर्जुन उच एवं सतत युक्ता ये भक्तास्वाम परिपासते ये चापेक्षरम व्यक्तम ते शाम के योग वित्तमाख अर्जुन आई सेम क्वेरी एवरी चैप्टर ही आस्क विद अ डाउट एंड कृष्ण ब्यूटीफुली रिप्लाइज सो दैट वी ऑल आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हिच इज कंसीडर्ड टू बी द मोस्ट परफेक्ट दोस who are properly engaged in your devotional service or those who worship in that worship the impersonal brahman <coughs> that is the unmanifest always it is easier to uh, worship what is in front of us right instead of imagining instead of looking for something which is not physically present here so he is asking krishna Should I worship the manifest, that is your personal form, or the Brahman, unmanifest? Shri Bhagavan Uvacha Maya Vishya Manu Yima Nitya Yukta Upasate Shraddhaya Pariyo Petaha Te Me Yukta Tamamataga The Blessed Lord said, He whose mind is fixed on my personal form, especially Shyam Sundara form, always engaged in worshipping me with great and transcendental faith is considered by me to be the most perfect. Again, here we have come down to faith because Bhakti starts with faith. The first step, even before faith also there is a step that is to have the faith we should have faith first of all right so that is a beginning so krishna is telling don't think about anything just simply trust me that's all and keep on worshiping otherwise also karma yoga says don't expect anything right that's what we have been learning from chapter 3 4 5 5 so here krishna is telling just 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 Simply focus on my personal form with transcendental faith. One day or the other, Krishna will take me with him. I am going to reach Goloka in this birth itself. That is very important. Twelve point three and four. But those who fully worship the unmanifested. that which lies beyond the perception of the senses 
the all pervading inconceivable fixed and immovable both are same inconceivable fixed and immovable the impersonal conception of the absolute truth by controlling the various senses and being equally disposed to everyone such persons engaged in the welfare of all at last achieve me in this uh, picture it's beautifully once again given by practicing yoga people try to stop the mind from thinking abhyasa yogena tatha vairagya tatha grahyate krishna is telling arjuna with practice and detachment you can achieve what chanchalam ki manaha krishna pramati balavadridam tasyagam nigrah manye vayo rivasu dushkaram so this is mind is worse than the uh, wind so krishna is telling for that answer bhagavan uvacha asamshayam mahabaho if you have the book you can see 6.35 asamshayam mahabaho mano dur nigraham chalam it is not impossible difficult abhyasa yoga yuktena vairagena cha grahyate you can achieve it <coughs> but for that what krishna is saying a person who is equipoised same in happiness or sadness same in shita or ushna same when you know like a kiss control his senses nothing can affect him such kind of people can definitely by controlling their senses focus their mind in worshiping me So Krishna is saying, I'll be in the center of their daily activities. Whatever they do, they will keep me in the center. Yesterday, Shloka, Yad Karoshi, Yad Asnasi, whatever you do, whatever you perform. Yad Karoshi, Yad Asnasi, Yad Jugoshi, whatever austerity you perform, do it as an offering to me. Krishna said, right? So these people only can control their senses and only by controlling the senses only we can achieve the supreme personality of godhead 12.5 klesho dikata raste sham avyakta sakta chetasam avyakta hi gati dukkam deha madbe avapyate for those whose minds are attached to the unmanifested impersonal feature of the supreme advancement is very troublesome to make progress in that discipline is always difficult for those who are embodied for those whose minds are attached to that unmanifest that's the first realization what's the first realization brahman realization there is an effulgent there is a power of light that light guides us so we are some, uh, some people say we are the light because akam brahmasmi so that is the soul realization so brahman realization is soul realization <coughs> <coughs> but in the process advancement is very very difficult why the reason being mind cannot be controlled to imagine the unmanifest we need that determined focus even if the mind here and there waves we cannot focus on the brahman so it's very difficult to first go through the step, brahman realization parmatma realization then bhagwan realization then you may ask mataji step by step only we can go no of course yes but at the same time ashila prabhupada says when there's an elevator directly for bhagwan realization why do you want to go through the staircase why do you want to go through the steps that is first step brahman second step parmatma third is bhagwan that is very possible how 
Shraddha, Sadhu, Sangha, Rajana, Kriya. If we got these three, we have laid the foundation. Other six steps will automatically But of course, these three when we have Shraddha, Sadhu, Sangha, Rajana, Kriya, the Anartha Nivarti starts, as I told the Bhagavan himself, through hearing, chanting, Bhajana Kriya, he enters through the ears and he cleanses our heart. Once this heart is cleansed, all the anarthas, Kama, Krodha, Loba, Moha, Madha, Matsarya, all the anarthas will vanish. Why? Because the Lord is cleaning it. Pravishta Karna Randrena Bhavam Shwana Sarorukham Dunauti Shamalam Krishna Shalilasya Yata Sharad Sharad the season all all the old leaves will fall, new leaves come. Similarly, the mind is clean, totally clean with the brush by the Lord in our heart by entering from the ears. So once we do the Shavanam Kirtanam Vishnu Smaranam uh, Shavanam Kirtanam Archanam Dasyam Padasivanam When we do all these things <coughs> Shraddha Sadhu Sangha Bhajana Kriya Anartha Nivarti Okay, all the Anartha That's from the mind will vanish. Then we will be able to focus on the Supreme Personality of God. So it's very easy. How and why if we have faith. Yetu sarvani karmani mai sanyasimat paraha ananye naiva yogina mandhya yanta upasate tisha amam samudharata Mrti Sansara Sagarat Bhavami Nachirat Partha Maya Veshita Chetasam. For one who worships me, giving up all his activities and to me. And being devoted to me without deviation. What is without deviation? And uh, this Haituki <coughs> Apratikada. Bhakti should be ahituki, bhakti should be apratihata. Should not expect anything from the Lord. Engage in devotional service and always meditating upon me. Very, very, very important. We may be doing shavanam, we may be doing bhajana kriya, sadhu sangha, all. But if the mind is not focused on the supreme personality of God, then bhakti is not possible. Osana partha for him. And the swift deliverer from the ocean of birth and death. See, the Lord is giving his hand. He will take us from this samsara sagarat, mrityu samsara sagarat, janma mrityu jara vyadi. We will keep on coming. When? When we are unable to focus our mind on the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Okay? Tesham aham samudrata. I am the swift deliverer of the this ocean of death and birth. Samudharata. Is samudra ko par karne ke liye. I will help you. What you have to do without any expectation. Simply chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ki jai. So I hope you understand. So the Lord is saying, that na anyena yogena in your yoga yoga is what connecting us with the Lord. When we connect us with the Lord, there should be nothing in between. But generally, what happens? The material desire comes in between. The moment we see the Lord, we feel like asking something. That should not be there. That is what I get to hear. Apratigata. So a nanyena iva yogena. No other thing between the Lord Bhakta and the Bhaktiya. Bhaktiya is the Bhagavan. Bhakta and the Bhaktiya. The worshipped and the worshipper. Nothing should come. <clears throat> then he will immediately deliver us from this uh, Janma Mrityu Ke Chakkarsi. 
okay he will elevate us mayeva mana adatsa mayi buddhi nimeshaya nivashishyasi mayeva ata urdvam na samshaya again asamshaya na samshaya it came your day before also we saw so many shlokas are with na samshaya there is no doubt just fix your mind upon me the supreme personality of god can and engage all your intelligence in me you should not engage in my service with your buddhi you leave it okay from my pers my perception you have to engage thus you will live in me always without any doubt this is a really wonderful shloka lord is not asking for anything engage your mind in me that is what is most difficult try right? not such a easy task the gopas you see how beautifully they will never leave krishna right for them they cry why this night comes <coughs> for the gopi is they cry why the sun rises cuz when the sun rises krishna goes for gracing the cows and when the sun sets go past cry cuz they have come home no krishna will leave them and go <clears throat> just fix your mind upon me the supreme personality of godhead and thus engage all your intelligence in me you will definitely come to me without any doubt at the chittam samadatum ஜீவா mind control is not at all possible so why am going on saying with your mind fixed in me so he said leave it <clears throat> okay you can't fix your mind with me without any deviation that's a known fact that all of the regulated principle of bhakti yoga how easy that is morning early morning we have to get up chant and uh, we have to do mangal aarti early morning tulsi aarti narsim aarti guru aarti these and all are very easy even if the mind goes here and there that's a beauty of kirtan kirtan will not let the mind go here and there why do we keep on saying bhajana kriya bhajana kriya never ever should be done in isolation always should be done in bhakta sangha so what happens <coughs> even if the mind goes here and there bhakta sarva so merciful vaishnava sar extremely merciful they will bring yes back hmm? so we have to follow the regulated principles of bhakti yoga so after doing all these things we have the bhagavatam class then we have prashnana again in the afternoon sangeetan evening again sandhya aarti onwards it starts till 9 10:30 in this way you will develop a desire to attain me see whatever we contemplate we develop an attachment towards that anything our you know what happens the child when the child goes to the school the mother is contemplating on the child only when will my child come come what should i make he will be very tired right so the mind is thinking about the child that is the reason daily it's a vicious circle the mind thinks the love increases the love increases the mind only thinks so it's like did the chick came first or egg came first the love or the child <laughs> there was love that the recent child came there is child that is recent we love abhyase pya samarto
if you cannot practice the regulations, God has given that also for us. Okay, okay. You can't follow. Leave it. Then, <coughs> just try to work for me. Okay? Just whatever you do. Sarvam Shri Krishna Arpanamastu, do it. That's all. You can't go to temple, you can't do Mangalarti, you can't do Narsimarati, you can't do Guru Arati, fine. At least, whatever you do, normal work also, you're sweeping the house. You say Krishna, and this is your home, I'm cleaning the home. You're going out to work for earning money. Okay, Krishna, if I earn money, I can serve you better. Okay, Krishna, I'll go and come back in the evening. Tell and go. Right? Then what happens? By working for me, you will come to the perfect stage. So work for only Krishna. So the one shloka we should remember, yet karoshi, yet dasnasi, yet jugoshi, tadasi, yet tapasyasi kaunteya. Whatever austerity, whatever yajna, whatever sacrifice you do, do it for me, Arjuna, Krishna says. So automatically our mind will revolve Krishna without taking much effort. Automatically. <coughs> oh, it came. That shloka came. Ekkaroshi yadasna se ejjugoshi tadasyat ekpasyas kaunteya tat kuruswa mad arpanam. O son of Kunti, all that you do, all that you eat, offer, give away, as well as austerities, whatever you perform. You are going to Vrindavan, tell Krishna if you come to Vrindavan, you will be very happy to see me. Actual fact is that only. When you go in front of the Lord, it's not we are seeing the Lord. The Lord sees us. Otherwise, we can at home only, we can have actually Graha and do it, right? We go to the temple. Why? The Lord will have. I mean, Lord will see us. Of course, we can have the darshan of the Lord, but at the same time, Lord also longs to see his devotees coming to temple, worshipping, doing seva to Vaishnavas. He likes it very much. Okay, so all that should be done as an offering unto me. <laughs> yeah, okay. So these are the some offerings what we can do for the Lord. Just now, yet karoshi, you do something, you do austerity, I said, no? So, our Namanishta Prabhu, he has been arranging all this classes, online classes, right from April 2020. Ten languages, minimum three to four slots, and so much of the internet Namishya Prabhu has been paying every month because all these things are Zoom premium. Otherwise, Zoom is 40 minutes, plus you can't have co-host. We cannot, if you can't have co-host, sharing the screen becomes very difficult by one Mataji. Manage the participants also, screen share also. Is it not? So, Namanishya Prabhu is not asking anything from us. If we know that a building, a temple is getting constructed, if you give even 5 rupees, 10 rupees, 20 rupees, your contribution for the temple, Krishna knows that. He also doesn't see the quantity. As we say, in quality, not in quantity, right? Same way here. <clears throat> he will see your bhava. He will not see how much you give. He will see with what bhava you give. So these are all the some services which are available. Okay? So you can note down this and you can click link, click the link. I'm just showing it. Give me a minute. Okay. Okay. There is error. So if you go in this site, all the, whatever uh, in the screen it was shown, right? That will be there. So you can select any of the services. And best is, 
we can become this is we can become the <coughs> life pattern, life plan. That's the best thing to do. If you become life member, wherever you go, you will have a card, life membership card. You can stay in the temple wherever there are ashrams. What is the best part? Number one, you don't have to look for any vehicle to come to the temple for Mangalarti. Secondly, the prasadam. We people can't eat outside, right? So the delicious, stump to us, prasadam. We can have a temple. So all of you should become a life member. It's a, don't see what benefit you will get. Only benefit we will get. Nothing else. But more, we don't see any benefit when we do things for the Lord. Because of Him, we are here. We have got everything. Okay? Atai tadavi asatosi kartum madhyokam ashritaka sattva karma palatyakam tata kuru yatatmava So what did he say in the previous one? Whatever you do, no problem. I'm not telling you you have to do this only. You have to focus on me, nothing. Whatever you do, you are able to do. Tell Sarvam Krishna Arpanamastu. Do it for my offering. This is what Krishna says. But you are not even able to do that. However, you are unable to work in Krishna consciousness. No problem. Then try to act, giving up all the results of your work. Yada yada yitsa. What is that? Karma nyevadi karaste maapale shukada achana maa karma fala khetur bho maa te atsangosva karma atsang detach 2.47 right whatever work you have to do please do it karma nyevadi karaste maapale shukada achana do it as if it is an offering to me Ma karma fala hetur put. Whatever karma you do, fala hetur, karma fala, the reward. Towards the reward, ma karma fala hetur put. Ma te at sang. Do not have any attachment towards that reward. See, doing our duties in our hand, giving the reward is only, 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 only Krishna's hand. Nothing is in our hand, even if he gives. We may not be able to enjoy many attempts, right? So that is not possible. If you think everything I am doing because of my efficiency, because of my brain, what is that shloka? Prakriti kriya mana ni kunaya karma ni sarvachaga akankara vimudatma karta akamiti manyati this I akankara vimudatma the soul it only knows I. It does not know there is Brahman realization, Paramatma realization, nothing. So the soul wanted things. Everything I do because of my efficiency. Nothing beyond my efficiency. So this is the pride, which is not very good. Because of that, we have come back from Goloka here. Okay? Naishloka. <clears throat> Shayogi Gyanam Abhyasaj, Gyana Dhyanam Vishishyate, Gyana Karma Pala Tyagat, Tyagas Chantir Anantaram. If you cannot take to this practice, what is it? Leave the benefit to the Lord. Then engage yourself in the cultivation of knowledge. That at least anybody and everybody can do it, right? How can we do it? Cultivation of knowledge. We have to keep on. We have to keep on cultivating the knowledge because Krishna tells, right? Jnani. Uh, what is that in seventh chapter? We saw Artho Jignasu Artarti Jnani Chabaratar Shabha. So Krishna says, whoever comes to me, four types of people come to me. Artho Jignasu Artarti, who is distressed. Jignasu, inquisitive, and whoever wants more benefit, money, dharma, artha, kama. 
okay beyond everything there is one more person who comes is gyani char bharatarshana who are you know these four kinds of people always approach me artho who was in distress gajendra gajendra was in distress right jignasu for gaining knowledge so many parikshit maharaj knew very well in seven days he was going to die but he thought in those days seven days i have to get the full knowledge of the supreme personality of god here that's why with the lord's arrangement sukadev goswami came and started reciting bhagavatam parikshit maharaj asked him see i have only seven days what should i do if it is for us we will see we will call the lawyer we will call all our relatives all the wealth the house whatever we have we will only be busy in distributing it distributing also i don't think we may do we may call the lawyer right everything for our son and our daughter's name that's all we will do if seven days are left but when parikshit maharaj asked shukadeva goswami i have only seven days shukadeva goswami said one minute in one minute people have been delivered seven days are too far you can hear that bhagavatam so he acquired knowledge in those seven days about only the supreme personality of god spiritual knowledge artarthi dhruva maharaj dhruva maharaj uh, step mother told dhruva maharaj that he cannot have any share in the kingdom of his father uttana bhaga so what happened dhruva maharaj comes back and tells his ma- mother suniti suniti is a very pious person so suniti says dhruva who are you telling none of us can do anything go go from here approach the supreme personality of god here ask him. and five year old boy straight walks into the forest of course whoever surrenders to the lord and goes no lord will take care our avashya rakshibe krishna will avashya definitely he will save god so when he went into the forest who came narad muni he keeps roaming and coming okay then dhruva maharaj accepted narad muni as his guru then he was finally delivered ke dhruva maharaj has got a big loka or in his name dhruva loka and in the process his mother sunidhi also even uttana pada also was delivered because it is said in shastras seven hereditary will be delivered as pralad maharaj hiranya kashipu was such a uh, horrifying demon but still when the lord came from the appeared from the pillar after killing kiranya uh, kashipa what happened he asked pralad what do you want do you know what did pralad maharaj say oh my lord why are you making me so low i would not like to ask anything from you okay still he is going on saying no 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 you have to ask me then he only ask my dear lord please give me bhakti your devotion nothing else what all you are learning here my mind should be focused so pralad maharaj says see that my mind is always focused in your worship even in the lord is not living that time will definitely give you are already devoted devotee you will never deviate from the path okay because his mother ki when pralad maharaj was uh in his mother's womb he heard from nargamuni kayadu okay so that will be a big story but here what we can see finally when the lord insisted pralad maharaj told only one thing if my father has to come back again for the kind of impious activity what he has done he will have to go through a lot of suffering so please liberate him also then the lord said for a true devotee seven hereditaries i will ele- elevate them i will liberate them so it is said a person who is liberated in krishna consciousness 
there are seven hereditary forefathers will also be elevated. So after hearing this, at least we should try not our level best. What is not possible for us also we should try. Okay? So if you cannot take to this practice, then engage yourself in the cultivation of knowledge. Better than knowledge is meditation. Better than meditation is renunciation of the fruits of action. So the levels, finally, lowermost karma yoga started from third chapter, leave the reward, attachment to the reward. I did it, what will I get? It is, you know, there is a problem. If I come to your house, what will you give me? If you come to my home, what will you get for me? It's like that much attachment we have got. In. Fine. Only that person who step by step knowledge, not possible meditation, better than that meditation, leave the results of the karma. Okay. Actually, this is the fundamental. But Krishna is telling because Krishna is coming from the top. First you focus on me. Focus your mind on me. So he is coming reverse process. That is the reason. First he gave us the highest knowledge. Only if that is not possible. As I told you, elevator is available. We should go through only elevator. If the elevator is not there, we see now whenever we have to go to some temples which are on the mountains. First we see whether the winch is there or not. If that is there, we prefer that. Isn't it? If that is not there, then we will come down. That the donkey, horse, if anything is there. That Badrinath, Kedarnath, and if you go, we get that, what is it? Char, some char. I think that donkey's name is. So we take them and we go. Horse, donkeys. But the best is what? Yervero. Winch. Right. So Krishna is coming from the top and finally he is coming to Karma Yoga. Okay. This is wonderful. I would again it's a little me. Yeah. 13 and 14. I would definitely like to read shloka because these two shlokas are amazing shlokas. Okay. Uh, 13 point, sorry, 12 point, 13. Just listen. Advesha Sarva Bhuta Na Maitra Karuna Evacha Nirmamoni Rahankara Sama Dukkha Sukha Kshami Advesha Sarva Bhuta Na See, who is not at all envious? Advesha means non-envious. In yesterday's also in Vena, Purushottam Yoga also he saw. Arjuna asked, show me your opulences. So immediately Krishna said, yes, because you are non-envious, I will show you. So this non-envious is a very, 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 very important quality in Bhakti. Because if we are envious, we won't hear from elevated devotees. We will only start looking for anarthas in them, mistakes in them. If we are non-envious, definitely we will not. So, Advesta Sarva Mutana, who is not envious to every living entity, all living entity, every living entity he considers as Maitra, Karuna. Equal means Maitra. Lower than us, Karuna. Evacha. Nirmamo Nirahankara. He is free from Mama, Mama, Mama. Everything belongs to me. Free from proprietorship. And free from false ego. Mama and Ahankar. Both will not be. Who is free from false ego and non proprietorship And equal both in happiness and distress. Sama Dukkha Sukha Kshami. If uh, Sukha comes, they won't jump. Dukkha comes, go to the temple and cry. Both will not do. They will treat both equally. Means they are, uh, what do you call it? Dvandva. Nirdvandva. They don't, do not have this duality. Duality means sukha dukkha. 
shita, ushna, din, prat, all these things are duality. For them, everything is equal. <laughs> then who is always satisfied and engaged in my devotional service with determination, apratigata, and whose mind and intelligence are in agreement with me. That is what is the yoga. Mind says something, action is something. There's no match, mismatch. That's not yoga. Whatever your mind and buddhi says, your actions will match with that. Yoga, connect. Are in agreement with me. Only these devotees are very dear to me. So from this shloka, Krishna tells so many, Agam Sachama me priyaka, Agam Sachama me priyaka. That soul is very dear to me. So many. Even, you know, once one quality, if we try to, very difficult, in by once in a month, at least, if you do it, most of the qualities within a year time, we can. But again, Shraddha, faith is important for that. He for whom no one is put into difficulty and who is not disturbed by anxiety, who is steady in happiness and distress, equal. Neither they will fall down when distress comes, nor they will fly in the air when the happiness comes. That person is very dear to me. A kind friend to all living entities who does not think himself a proprietor and is free from false ego, who is equal both in happiness and distress, who is tolerant, always satisfied, self-controlled, and engaged in devotional service with the determination, his mind and intelligence fixed on me. Such a devotee of mine is very dear to me. Okay? Such a beautiful shloka that is. 12.16 A devotee who is not dependent on the ordinary course of activities, but he is pure, expert, without cares, free from all pains, and who does not stay for some reason. Doing the duty is our work. Giving or not giving the benefit is his uh, mercy. If he is merciful, if we deserve, no, he will 100% give. That is the beauty of Krishna Bhakti. We said, no, why can't we uh, worship Devatas? Devatas will give anything for us. We ask for one job, he, Devatas will give. But that job may not be beneficial for us, may be detrimental for us. But the same thing, if you had asked Bhagavan, Krishna, if it is good for us, only he would have given. That is why Krishna Bhakti is difficult. Ashutosh, Brahma, Shiva, all people, Shiva especially, Ashutosh, whatever his devotees ask, he gives it lovingly. But Krishna Bhakti is not like that. What we deserve, what we but actually, what Krishna wants us to have, he will give only that. Okay? So, Krishna, we should ask only Bhakti. Even others also. Vashiva is such a great devotee of Krishna. Vaishama nam yato chambu. So, we should ask Shiva. When, wherever, whenever we go to Shiva's temple, we should ask, Oh Lord Shiva, Give me Krishna Bhakti. He will immediately give because he loves Krishna. A devotee who is not dependent on the ordinary course of activities, who is pure, expert, without cares, free from all pains, and who does not strive for some result. Such a mama priyaka. That devotee is very dear to me. <laughs> One could neither grasp pleasure or grief. Who neither laments or disgrace. If Dukkha comes, how do you, why did I get it? In the whole world, Bhagavan only remembered me to give this Dukkha? No. Or disgrace. Keep on thinking and asking more, 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 more. Ye dil mange more always. Who renounces both 
auspicious and inauspicious things. See, we should renounce everything. We think, you know, if I give so much of donation, it's a punya karma. No, we will have to come back to bear the fruit of that karma also. Every action has a reaction, whether it is pious or impious. So who renounces all pious and impious? They are only karma, karma, karma. We have to renounce everything. Only then we can become very dear to the Lord. One who is equal to friends and enemies. There's nobody friend or enemy. Samadha, Samadrishti. All are equal to us. Who is equal poised in honor and dishonor. Somebody is asking, Mataji daily they ask, did you have Prashada Mataji? How was the class? Everything. One day they didn't ask. We think what happened to Mataji asked. She did not even uh, consider me as a being. Why did she do it? No. Honor and discernment. We are not at all, we should not be rather bothered about all these things. Because Krishna is permanent. No other thing is permanent, right? Eternal is Krishna. So heat and cold, happiness and distress, fame and infamy. When we get lottery, when we get so many people come with the big, big garland and prices, someday what happened? They only say, that person, no, 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 we cannot tolerate him. That thing should bother us. Gopala Chapala. Yes. Gopala Chapala. Uh, I'm forgetting the Shangu Swami's name. Advaita Chari. Yes. Advaita Acharya, you know, Gopal Chapla wanted to defame Advaita Acharya. Advaita Acharya's house all that time used to be Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. He could not bear his, he was becoming more famous and famous. So Gopal Chapla, what did he do? He brought all those, you know, like uh, uh, skull and uh, some, you know, lemon, and that kumkum, sintur, all those things. He used to bring and put it in front of Advaita Acharya's house. Early morning when Advaita Acharya opens the door and comes, all these things will be there. So that people, so Gopala Chapla used to tell, see Advaita Acharya, whole night he does this only. This is what is available. But for to the, he is a Pashandi. He acts as if he is a real devotee to others. Advaita Acharya said, yeah, yes, I am like that. I do that. That's it. No other argument. Okay? So, Femi or Infim, who is fixed in knowledge and engaged in devotional service, is dear to me. Okay? Femi, Fem, Infimi, who is always free from contamination, no material attachment, no material attachment, always silent, Satisfied with anything. Those days they go far, Bhiksha, right? For, you know, it is said how long it takes for the cow to milk the cow. That much time only they should stand. And after seeing the uh, saints, only Matajis used to cook and give them. And if they take more time than the time of milking the cow, they are not supposed to stay in one house. They have to go to the next house. So hardly they used to get anything. But here it is shown, they should feel satisfied with whatever they get. Who is fixed in knowledge and engaged in devotional service is very dear to me. He who follows this imperishable path of devotional service. That is only permanent. Right? And who completely engages himself with faith, making me the supreme goal. That is that prayojana. What's the prayojana? Ultimate goal. Attain me. is very, very, very dear to me. I think this is Bilma Mangla Thakura. Bilma Mangla Thakura once, I mean, uh, he was too much attached to three. 
and he used to always go to one prostitute's house. Too much attached. That thing what happened, his father passed away. He had to do the hunting samskar. But he was so desperate to go to her house. What happened? It was raining like anything, pouring down like a cat and dog. So the rivers, everything was overflowing. But he was not ready to stay. He wanted to go. He ran. That time what happened? The you know, river is full, floating. I mean, overflowing. So he had to go. He caught something in his hand in the dark. He could not see. He caught hold of some logs. He thought so. And he swam and he went. And there, how to go to the second floor, reach. Some he thought again, some, uh, uh, what do you call that? Root. Root, it comes from the, from the people tree. So he thought that is a root and he climbed. <clears throat> After going there, he knocked the window. What did she say? You, you know, this much affection, if you have with the Lord, <clears throat> you'll be easily delivered. What you caught hold of and came, no? That is a snake. And what you thought the log and cave, that's a dead body. Then finally, one more time also, Bilamangala Takura falls down. But no, now this time, he asks for a hairpin from the same prostitute. And he plucks his eyes and pulls them out. But after that, the same Jnana Chakshu. Premanjana Churita Chakshu Vinayana. Yesterday we saw that. So he was all the time he used to have darshan with his premanjana. After he lost his vision, he who follows this imperishable path of devotional service and who completely engages himself with faith, making me the supreme goal, is very, very dear to me. <laughs> wow. I think, but this is the old thing. Mataji, Chitra Mataji. Yes, Mataji. According to me, this is the old one, am I right? Okay. Uh, Temple but, programs and... Uh, uh, yeah, programs, this right? was the inauguration, right? Uh, this is an old one, I think. Okay, so this is the last slide. Anybody having any doubt? Today's chapter is a wonderful chapter. Bhakti. He is telling leave everything. Mind is not that easy. But uh, okay, it's fine, no problem. Nama Rupa Guna Lila. We can meditate upon and do chanting initially. So we are working. Krishna did not tell leave everything, come to take sannyasa. He himself has only given us a Varnashrama. What, what is that? Brahmacharya, Grahastha, Vanaprastha, then only sannyasa. He has told us how to live a Rakhasta life. Okay. So, Krishna does not want that. But what he says is, try at least, you know, in the office, if you go for a round, come back. Every, it is, this is known as, you know, traffic signal. <laughs> the green light. They say, after every one hour, we have to remember the green light. Come back to our work. Uh, room, then red light. Stop all other activities. Then we have to meditate upon Krishna. Then you start. then you come, then you meditate. Then you start. At least this should be there. This is what Krishna says. Tesham satata yukta nam majatam priti purvakam continuously who worships me. Dadami buddhi yogam tan. I will give you the knowledge to reach me. Tesham <coughs> Satata continuously, Tesham Amesha. Satata Yukta Nam Yukta Yoga to attach to me. Bajatam Preeti Purvaka to worship me, my name, chant my name with Preeti, with love. Dadami Puddhi Yogam Tam. Yena, Maam, Upayanti Te. And I will take you, I will give you the knowledge. So that, with that knowledge, you come to my abode. That's also my duty. Everything he only does. 
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Mataji, question? No, oh, Mataji, nothing in the chat at the moment. Mataji, all Matajis, Prabhujis who are here, already they know so much. And I feel, you know, like it's not right for me to even explain. But at the same time, I... I took this opportunity for the glorification of Prabhupada and Guru Maharaj. That's it. So then I can glorify. In between, in between, we can say, Shila Prabhupada ki jai, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ki jai. That's it. But still, if they can share anything, all of us can learn together. I may not know, I may ask senior, then come and share it back. So then we can share knowledge in this platform. That's it. Isn't it, Mataji? Mancha Kalpatan Upasya Kripas in Dubai Vacha, Patitana, Pavane Bio, Vaishnavi Buna Munamaga, and the Tokodi Vaishnavi in the key jai. She loved her father key jai. She met Bhagavad Gita key jai. All glories to assembly devotees, Hare Krishna, all glories to assembly devotees, Hare Krishna, all glories to Guru and Gauranga, Hare Hare Bon. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Panchang Pranam to all the devotees. This is Kartik Man, final days, Bhishma Panchang. So some, some at least, you know, for devotional service, we are supposed to donate. So that link, if you, any one of you have clicked, it's better to give whatever we want. Bhagavan does not want big quantity. He wants our need to get attached. That's it. Very small little amount. In this Karthik month, if we donate, the benefit is in multiplied by thousand times. Okay, so Namanisha Prabhu ki jai. Yes, Mataji. Yes, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Mataji. Thank Hare you. Hare 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 Krishna, Mataji. Should I end the meeting, Mataji? Yes, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Okay, Hare Kaur, Hare Krishna, Hare dear Kotis. Hare Mataji. Hare Krishna. Lata Mataji. And uh, Sushri Mataji, Roma Mataji, and Sandeep Ram. I think they are attending daily. Saranya Mataji. Thank you so much, Mataji, San Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Mataji. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Thank Hare you. Krishna, Hare Hare. Thank you. I'm ending the meeting with the yes, Mataji. Permission.